Hey, Mike. Yep. Ten bucks if you eat your meal without your shirt on. And I think that's probably against the rules. Ten. Roses. Fox, Mike. Guys, we got. We gotta run. Bye. I'll have a fresco. Okay. Just like to say to the bride and groom, may your love and happiness last a lifetime. Yes, I but it's undeniably true. <laughs> Ten bucks if you yell, I love kitties at the top of your lungs. Hey, Mike. <clears throat> I got one. Ten bucks. If when Kenny comes back, you kiss him on the cheek. Come on, Ed. I don't want to kiss Kenny on the cheek. Do the words ten bucks might mean anything to you? Here he comes. <laughs> hey, Mikey, Mikey. How you doing? Yep. Thanks, Ken. <sighs> hey, Kenny. You went European. Yeah, I thought it might help. So Carl Vesey and I were at the pond, right? Oh, no, it's not one of these stories, is it? No, look, we're at the pond. We're talking, we're reminiscing about when I first came back into town, okay? Ten bucks uh, if you don't make me listen to this. You want to get smacked? Now listen, okay? So it's night. We're talking, and then all of a sudden, Mike, I swear to God, we almost kiss. Ten thousand bucks. Hey, you see that lawn gnome over there? Yeah? Ten bucks if you go over there and give it a kiss. Mr. Gordon's gonna see me. That's what makes it hilarious. Morning, Mr. Gordon. Good morning. You have a nice day. Hey, Mike. Hmm? Ten bucks. If you got that little horse over there, you rock back and forth and you scream. Look at me, everybody. I'm a cowboy. Yeehaw! You have to do the yeehaw part? Yeah. I'm gonna need the yeehaw. There he goes. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. I'm a cowboy. Yeehaw! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Edward, ten bucks if you ask the waitress to wrap that up for you. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> they had a doggy bag for this. There's one french fry on your plate. Yeah. You want to take home a single french fry? Do you mind? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you two are just not normal, fellas. <laughs> hey, check it out. It's a giant chicken. Well observed, Mike. That truly is a giant chicken. I'll give you six bucks if you hug the giant chicken. Six bucks? Yep. Six bucks. Yep. Okay, as you are well aware, the traditional wager is ten bucks. Yeah, sure there, Ed. We're all aware of the traditional ten, but all I, uh, I got here is six. You walk around with six bucks in your pockets. Who, your bucks car Willie, king of the hobos? You gonna hug a chicken or not? No way, man. Forget it. But don't get me wrong. I mean, for ten bucks, you could not hold me back. But six bucks? Never gonna happen, my all friend. All right, fine. Let's go. Oh, hold, hold on. Hold on. I'll give you ten bucks if you hug the giant chicken. Are you going to do it like that, huh? <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Please stop touching me. Yep. Sorry. Hey, hey, check it out, buddy. See that? See those two ladies right there? Yeah. Ten bucks, you go to those two ladies. Say, excuse me, ladies. 
Just wanted to inform you that I'm a jackass. And you, you walk away. It's not very creative. Yeah, but very effective. Now you go over there and you do that. All right, Scott. Yeah. <sighs> Excuse me, ladies. What do you want, jackass? That was great, Barbara. Thanks. That was really good. Thanks, Thank Dr. You. Burton. You still owe me 10 bucks. So worth it, my friend. Hey, buddy. Hey, Mike. What's up? What's your snack? Snack. We have food here. Yeah, but it sucks. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh. What? What brand of potato chips are these? I don't know. Can't eat them. What? Can't eat them. What are you talking about? They're chips. I was 12 years old. I bought these potato chips, and on the bag it said, no one can eat just one. Right. I was like, yeah, right. No snack food company is going to tell me what I can or cannot do, right? So what I do is I eat one single chip, throw the rest of the bag away, make sure never to eat them again. Well, you're kidding me. I am not kidding. I, Edward J. Stevens, am the man who ate just one. I'll give me ten bucks if you eat a chip. Come on, don't. Ten bucks, Ed. Don't do that. Come on. I've put 20 years of my life into this. You're not going to do it, huh? I, I just... All right, all right. Let the word go forth that at 3.12 p.m., December 5th, 2001, Ed Stevens, for the first time in history, refused to 